All right, this is another in a series of videos talking about how to build an online portfolio using the Minnesota eFolio online tool. In this video, we're going to take a close look at how to build the backbone and the structure and the menu items and all the spaces that you're going to end up putting all of your content. As you can see, I've already signed into my administrative site. And this video is going to focus in on this area on the right here. This is where you build the menu items and the pages of your website. Just to give you a brief idea, if you look here, I've already built many pages in my website. And so you can see I have home, resume, license and certifications. And then down here, I have combined competencies. And nested underneath combined competencies, I have leadership, program development, communication, and so on. You can nest your pages underneath each other, and you'll see what that looks like when I go to my preview. This is my live website, and so you can see those pages that I showed you on the right of my administration area show up here as menu items, home, resume, license certifications, and each one of these is a separate web page that you can build. I told you that under combined competencies, I had some pages nested, so if I click on combined competencies, it brings me to that page, and below that, I have those nested pages that I had talked about. So let's go back here talk a bit more. When you first sign up for your eFolio site, it'll automatically create the starting of your website titled after your name. Just below that, you can decide right away whether or not you want your website public, private, or completely disabled. Public is viewable by everyone, although by default you can't really do a Google search for eFolio sites. Private means that it's live, but it's only available to certain people that you personally invite. And finally, disabled means that you're still storing all that information, but it's not available for anyone to look at. So when I first started building my sites, one of the first things I did is switch it to public. Another key piece to know about is your site properties. If you click on that, you'll see it comes up with the site label. And then the heading, the slogan, the footer, the description and keywords. The only things that end up showing up in your website is the heading, slogan, and footer. The description and keywords is more for your purposes and also if you decide that you want to make this a searchable web page. So if you look here, pay attention to the heading, the slogan, and the footer. And we'll take a look at where those show up on our live site. Let's go ahead and preview. So the heading shows up right here at the top. The slogan shows up just below that in this gray area. And then finally the footer shows up down here at the bottom. Now I've decided to have my name as the heading. As the slogan, I've decided to create a slogan for myself. And in the footer, which shows up on every single page, I've decided to quote uh, a famous philosopher. You can decide whatever you want to do to fill those areas. Now, if I wanted to add pages here, you would first need to decide where you want your pages added underneath. If I want pages added underneath my home page, then I would select the home page and I would click on add. The URL shortcut. I'm actually going to copy that and show you what that'll do. That can be used to jump quickly to that page if you'd like to. You can decide if you want to enable, disable, or hide these pages. You can also decide if you want to show the dates that these pages were edited and the format that that edit shows up in. And finally, you can decide if you want to build an RSS feed, which allows people to subscribe to your web page and so that anytime you update it, they're automatically notified. Click on OK, and you can see that it adds in my new page at the very bottom. If I jump to preview, you'll be able to see that my new page shows up right down there. Going back to administrative site, if you want to get rid of a page, you can simply delete it. You can also take a look at those properties again and change those properties if you'd like to. I told you I was going to show you what that my new page does. So if I were here on my live site, 
but I wanted to jump straight to that page or I wanted to tell somebody how to jump straight to that page, I'd add my shortcut to the end of that. Now, when I send somebody that link, it jumps them straight to that page. Let's go back and I'm going to actually delete this page. And it says, do you want to delete this selected page in all of its child pages? That's all the pages below it. That's what I call the nested pages. I'm going to click on yes. Now, if I wanted to add a page nested underneath one of these other pages, I would first select the page and then click on add. Now, it's important to note that your title can have spaces in it, and it should because that's going to show up on your menu bar. Your URL shortcut cannot have spaces in it. Now you can see that resume part two is nested underneath resume. If I were to show you that in my live site by clicking on preview, you can see there's resume part two nested underneath resume. If I were simply on my home page, you wouldn't see that until you click on the resume page. Jumping back to my admit site. The final thing to note is that the eFolio site can actually be multiple sites in one. You can use your same content to build lots of different sites for lots of different purposes. Say, for instance, that this site, titled J. William Underwood Jr., is my site that I like to use for uh, putting together all my administrative things that I've done. Progress towards my administration degree. But let's say I wanted to create a whole separate site using some of the same content to demonstrate some consulting work that I do or have done. If you want to add a brand new complete website, you can click on add new site. And you have to type in some of that same information. I'm going to leave the slogan, footer, description, keywords blank for now. You know what those are for. But now you can see the site I'm working on is consulting, and so far all I have is my home page. If I go to preview that, you can see up in the header here, J. William Underwood Consultant. If I want to switch back to working on my other site, I simply come up here and switch to J. William Underwood Jr. and all that comes back. If I decide I want to delete that site, I can always click on it and click on the minus sign, which will then end up deleting that consulting site permanently. And now I'm back to just having the one site that I need to manage. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Stay tuned for other videos where we'll talk about the content area over here on the left and how to actually put together that content to start building your pages. Thanks much and take care.